everyone. Uh, I want to stand right here next to our flag and next to our folks and everybody. Come on close, Julie. We'll put that chair maybe in there a little bit. And uh, come close. This is what it's all about. That's why we're in government, to make sure we help people. Thank you very, very much. Uh, the Leading Age Illinois Partners in Quality Award presented to Governor Pat Quinn in recognition, in recognition of your commitment and dedication to advancing quality and older adult services. Okay, well, thank you, Bill. Thank you yes. very much. Thank you. Well, this uh, means a lot. We've worked very hard over the last five years to work with those who are in long-term care facilities and nursing homes. Uh, in community settings as well. Uh, we believe in adult, of, adult protective services. We were able to pass that law a couple years ago. I want to thank our legislators who are with us today and those who couldn't come who made that possible. And I think it is special that we're at a place that's uh, more than a century old that understands that it's uh, the duty of all of us to take good care of those who are vulnerable and frail and need a helping hand. Uh, my mother is 96 years old, and she has a caretaker. Uh, she lives uh, independently. Uh, she couldn't do that unless she had somebody who could help her out to drive her to where she has to go or to shop. And it's very, very important. You know, when my mom was born in 1917, uh, 16 years after this uh, fine organization began, uh, my mother wasn't eligible to vote. Women didn't have the right to vote in America. Can you believe that? That, that had to be changed, right? Yeah. And it wasn't until 1920 in our country that we passed a constitutional amendment giving women the right to vote. And I think it shows that over the years, we know we have to perfect our democracy. We're not perfect. We know we have things that we have to work on and improve, and especially when it comes to health care and taking good care of our seniors and those in nursing homes and, and those with disabilities. So we always have to strive to do better. If you remember the song, America the Beautiful, we want to mend our every flaw. And that's uh, very, very important in Illinois that we have over the last five years really worked together with a lot of good people uh, all across across our state uh, to get important laws passed that I'll sign today. Every senior deserves to have high quality care. Their families need to know that there's going to be accountability for that care and that their loved ones are safe and well cared for. And over the last five years, there has just been enormous progress we've made. We've set higher staffing ratios. Mm -hmm. We've been doing things to um, uh, make sure we, we are beefing up staffing and having higher fees put in place and, you know, the staffing to do the inspections to make sure we're really holding them accountable uh, for the new higher standards of care. And we reform the overall rate structure uh, for nursing homes so that it's now um, more uh, attuned to the actual acuity of care, the level of care that's being provided. None of this would have happened without the leadership of Governor Quinn. And I saw Michael Gelder, his point person, on it at some point. And I just want to call out to Michael that there he is in the back, that he's done an amazing job sort of heading these efforts. Um, the bills that we're doing here today will continue us down that path, um, making sure we have the ombudsman in place and actually have more independence to hear complaints. Uh, Senator Morrison's bill that she's here to talk about as well will ensure that we can sort of electronically file and, that, and keep confidential those complaints. This is very crucial to make sure we actually have strong accountability for the facility. Facilities. And then we're putting in place a new pilot program for medication management uh, that we'll be able to study and make sure that we are in fact providing better care at more efficient rates with this new sort of pilot position that's getting put in place. This was an effort of uh, Kirk Rivas and Leading Age um, Illinois. Uh, and I want to just thank Bill Lowe for hosting us here today uh, in this place. Um, it really is a beautiful facility, five star quality place. Um, everyone here gets phenomenal care. I know my chief of staff, even when her husband had a procedure, this is where he came for his care. They do phenomenal service. Really want to thank them and they provide the whole range of services to folks here as well. It's just a wonderfully humane place and I just again want to say thanks to Governor Quinn for continuing us down the path on making sure that every senior here in Illinois is going to get good care in a facility that's really held accountable for very high standards. Thank you. Quite honestly, in the 21st century, it just makes sense to be able to issue concerns and complaints about nursing home care to the Department of Public Health using online means. Mm -hmm. um, I think this is going to help people who have both family and friends here, whether it's a long-term residence or just a short-term rehab, to feel more comfortable 
uh, going forward and asking those questions and making their concerns. And I, and I really am delighted that Governor Quinn shares my interest and my passion for making sure that our seniors are well cared for.